Hello everybody and welcome back to my 1 million chicken challenge. So, a little bit of an update for you. It's probably going to be a bit of a shorter episode this one because there isn't much difference I can show you. As you can imagine, with this kind of challenge, as I said before, it's a lot of rinse and repeats. It's a lot of harvesting, a lot of planting, a lot of picking up straw and doing that cycle again and again and again. So I'm hoping after this one, we should be able to go and buy a lot more chickens because we've got a lot of eggs and I mean a silly amount of eggs and we've got quite an amount of straw pellets as well to sell so the changes that have happened from last time just a few little bits to try and help me out personally because um, yeah these episodes even though it's only 30 minutes for you around about that for you to see them it's taking me the best part of six hours to make each episode because well, somebody's got to do the work. Whatever it's me or a worker, I've still got to sit here and babysit him. So it's it's quite a, it's a challenge for me in you know doing this as well as mentally challenging as well. So the things that have changed, I've upgraded this combine, so it has quite a few steps. This Reaper does, and it was on two fifty thousand capacity. I've now paid a hundred thousand to have it. 1 million capacity so you can see at the minute we're already at 425,000 I swapped out my honeybee header to this one which is around about 100 foot I think it's 36 meters it's around about 100 foot and um, this is the one if you watch my cow challenge this is the header from that and it's just to try and speed things up a little bit now because of putting this big header on it means that obviously more barley is getting taken in by the combine because I've upgraded the combine it can cope with that and process it but as you can see at the back it's chucking out one hell of a straw swath now this thing behind us it, it, it's doing okay it's not struggling and the reason for that that's been upgraded as well to a 1 million litre capacity now that I had to go and change the files for that one because there's not an upgrade option you can see the JCB struggling to get over the mound, it's that much, so it's causing it to slow down a little bit, so I am having to sort of just wait at the end for it to catch up a little bit. I was a little bit worried as well, because the swath was so big, that the header was not going to, basically the pickup point on a baler, it was not going to pick it up. It was missing bits, so I had to just go and tweak the file to make the header sort of two to three times bigger and wider than it should be. So it's now going to pick up, because when you get to the end here, it really chucks out an even fatter chunk of... Look at that! Oh, man. But as you see, if we go and turn around quickly, we'll, uh, we'll catch this guy, because you're going to have to just wait for him to catch up. You can see the poor JCB, it's, it's literally his belly's rubbing on the, the straw. And you can see, look, it's picking it up, it's wider. Come on, keep going. You see, it's getting all that. No problem at all. It's not missing anything now, so we are picking up pretty much everything you can throw. Uh, and that's just purely because I've just gone and made the uh, the header wider. Uh, no, we need to go and do this and do that. So, even though this is getting it done a little bit quicker, and obviously the, the capacity size just means I don't have to unload as much. Because this head is not standard, by far it's standard, workers just don't understand it. You struggle a little bit to try and like line up. So because it, it sort of, it expands. When you drop it down, it expands even even wider. So a worker doesn't line up for that expansion, which means it ends up, most of it's hanging over into an area it's already gone and like harvested. So when you think about it, you're not really saving anything because it's, it's going over already harvested ground. So I have to do this myself a lot and I am using the vehicle control add-on, which is what's giving it a basically it's guiding the steering so I don't have to do anything apart from set it on cruise control when it gets to the end take it off cruise control turn it around guide it myself around to get it lined up again and set the cruise control on again and just go with it back and forth but I think if, if we did a worker as well the worker would get out of control from the bailer behind because he is struggling and that's purely because the JCB poor JCB it's struggling to get over the swath it's so big, it's just like rubbing it's underneath. So, yeah, these are going to help. You know, doing this is going to help. You can see that we're getting just absolutely nailing through this. You can see the poor JCP there, it's struggling a bit. So I have to 
wait a little bit otherwise the follow me mod will sort of detect we're too far away and it will just stop so it's not doing too bad got another worker as well as you can see actually planting so literally as we're going a worker's only a few sort of rows behind putting barley back in again because we just need to turn and burn with this this is all we literally can do so there you go we open it up it's spread out to its full width now and we can carry on cruise control back on and we go for another pass so this this has been my life this has these challenges are good fun I, I like to see the outcome and i didn't expect to see the overwhelming amounts of uh, eggs already without having more pastures or more coops we've not even got a full two coops yet and we're just getting swamped with eggs so yeah it's, it's nice to see so time consuming to think how many episodes i could have done from a normal let's play in the time it takes to do each one of these so um I do appreciate your patience, and I know they are spaced about a little bit. At the minute, it seems to be running on a Tuesday and Saturday. Uh, if you're a member as well, I am sort of throwing in a Clarkson's Farm series on for the members as well. But yeah, I, I really can't add any more videos into my week with working full-time and everything. I just I can't do it. So I'm trying to keep up to this sort of two a week if I can. Like I said, I know it's a little bit spaced out, but um, if YouTube was my life and I could do YouTube all the time for a job, you would have a video every day but unfortunately i'm only a little channel at the minute so uh, if you want to help me out please hit subscribe i am so close to my thousand uh, subscribers as well so i can nearly fully monetize my channel so if you want to help and you're watching this and you're not subscribed please just hit that button if you don't want to see any more videos from me you can just click muse but just hit subscribe i would appreciate it so we're just going in for our first empty then of the combine and the uh, baler behind. It's not quite full, but I don't want to be the other end of the field. And it feels like I'm on a bit of a time race here with uh, the worker that's behind planting because um, if they get too close, yeah, we are in trouble. Now, this has also been modified as well. Just keeping up with the things that have been modified. I had modified this trailer initially and then I've done it again now so it holds... A million in each compartment because well we need it as you can see it's emptying mighty quick now we've gone for the million upgrade on the reaper i think there's about eight hundred thousand in here it was about 85 percent oh no just over what is it 850 yeah 850 so that's not bad going there now we'll go around to this guy and uh, yeah this has got quite a tip on it as well so if we just go and try and get this lined up here on this side I don't want to get too close I think I might have to move that because there's a good chance let's just go and sack work it we'll turn that off for a second because it's quite noisy well that's a glare from the sun isn't it? of that inside there right I think this is probably going to nudge the trailer but I'm hoping it will not tip it over oh and it's not close enough all right <laughs> okay Let's just go and see if we can get the rear steer to just shimmy that over a little bit. That will tip in there pretty quick as well. I've upped the tip on this one. Should take that glare away as well. That's uh, 27 degrees in June here on four fields. There we go. So we'll uh, we'll just go move away. We'll close it. Oh no, we'll close it up, not move away. Right, we need to go and empty this, but I'm a little concerned about that worker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put this on the road here so that it keeps out the way the work it should do. And we are going to carry on because we need to, uh, well, we need to carry on. Look at, look at this. Holy moly. No wonder that JCB struggling. Look at that, it's right, it's proper like <clears throat> balls deep in straw. I'm so glad that I did sort of add a few more inches, so to speak, on the uh, on the baler because um, yeah, it just it just wouldn't cope, would it? So we'll do this, we'll do that, we'll press this one, and it should hopefully follow the reaper. Sorry, that's the vehicle control add-on that keeps bringing it springing it back into place. Have we got a person in there? Oh yeah. So that's on, that's on. I think we've done right. Let's jump in here again now. We'll act activate that again. We'll bring that back in. We'll open that up again. And away we go. If I've done it right, the worker should be following us. 
you following us, worker? Yeah, you are. Are you picking up the straw? Have I done that right? Yep. We're all good. We'll go to full size. We'll turn this on and we'll set cruise control. And I'll see you in a little bit. So that's one field finished off. And in here, we now have a million liters of barley and a million liters of straw pellets. So we're going to bring it back to the silo here. We're going to tip them off. Which compartment are we on first? Looks like straw pellets. Let's swap that across to the front. And uh, yeah, away we go. We'll tip that in. So what I've been doing with this then is I've been using the sorghum. So we did all the wheat. I've used the sorghum now to sort of top up the chickens. And then we'll come back and we'll sort of start on the barley. So just getting rid of the other ones after we did our initial little test. Now you might see as well, there was something here. It was a buy anything point where you could literally buy anything. Well, I got rid of it for safety because I might have made a bit of a mistake and I bankrupted myself. So what I did is I put it here just in case when we get a bit further on, we need help with buying some barley. Well, I thought I saw a seed production, which I put here. And I thought, you know what? A seed production, it says you can use wheat or barley to make seeds. I thought, well, maybe buy another field, put some wheat in. Use that to get seeds because the planters are getting through a lot of seeds and it's quite expensive because the sheer capacity of the seeds I have to buy. So I thought, yeah, you know, that's a good idea. Just going to test it out a bit and use this thing here just to buy some wheat because I hadn't got any at the time. Just to see, make sure everything works okay, that it, you know, it, it all does what it's meant to do and stuff like that. Yeah, I kind of forgot one thing, didn't I? I for when, did they, when did they come on? to put that on by accident i kind of forgot this by anything point is what i used on my cow challenge and if you remember on my cow challenge i did heavily modify it because i needed to fill up 10 million liters of straw and tmr into a trailer so i made it come out the little spout as quick as it could well i forgot that didn't i so here i'm on a lot lower scale and i just wanted a teeny bit of wheat in the blink of an eye, I got what? I think it was three or four hundred thousand liters of uh, wheat, and it cost me four hundred and fifty thousand. It sent me into the minus on my bank account by three and a half thousand. I wish I was filming it so you could have seen. You wouldn't have liked the choice language that I used after that, and I thought. Do I just simply go and erase this? Because, again, I'm on PC. I could have put that money back in, deleted the wheat out and gone, well, that was a stupid mistake. But no, me be me, I ran with it. I thought, you know what? All right. It just cost me 450000 for this um, this wheat to turn into seeds. And, um, yeah, I did that. So in here now, we have 970,000 litres of seeds, which I think is going to be more than enough. Now... I, I can get rid of some of them. I can sell the seeds if need be. And I think I'm going to need to. Because that's just ridiculous. Now, the, the there was sort of double the seed ratio to wheat. So wheat in. Uh, I can't remember what the quantities were. But so much wheat in. And it was double out of seeds. Hence why I've got a lot more. Right, let's just go. Actually, you know what? We've still got... I couldn't fit everything in from these guys. But at least this one field is done. So I don't have to worry now. Oh, I've got to be careful now because of the uh, it's going to fill up both compartments. So I don't have to worry about the worker now. The worker can crack on because there's no feel that they can like go over the straw. Oh, I'm still... You wouldn't think that I, uh, I drive uh, trucks for a living, would you? Okay, here we go. Fully qualified on the rear steer ones as well. So we'll get all this in. There's not much left, but we'll get it in. And then we'll go put the rest of this in the front one. There we go. So I think now it's time to go and have a look back at the yard about selling some straw pellets so we can buy some more chickens and maybe some eggs as well. So I've just gone and set this trailer to its 5 million litre capacity so we can get all this in one hit. Now we're going to put... Actually, before we do that, let's just have a look at what my stock checker is telling me we can get for the straw pellets just to make sure that they are a good price so the price is on the way down just a little bit you can see this one highlighted in blue is the straw pellets 2.1 million liters nearly 2.2 .2. 
So at the minute, they're going for £508 per thousand litres. That would give us a 1.1 million return if we sold them now. Best time is in Jan, giving us 1.3. Now, we are losing a couple of hundred thousand there. Uh, but the problem is, wait until Jan. I just, nah, you know what? We, we are getting so many of these. I think we're just going to go for it now. We're going to take a little bit of a loss because we've got another field to do, which will be... What would it be? Potentially, what, another million? For straw pellets? Yeah, I, I think we'll be okay. We'll be able to sell that one probably in Jan. But we need the money now. We need to buy some more check-ins. So, we where did it say we're going to go? Biomass heating plant. That's over the far end. So, I'll see you over there. So, I was actually wrong on the location for this one. This is at the top of the map. It was the harbour that's over the other end of the map. We haven't been here before. This is a new one. Ooh, look at this. Where do we go from here? I'm guessing the green beacon is going to be the giveaway point. Yeah, it is. Let's drive in here. We will sell all this here. I'm hoping it hasn't got a limit. Is it, expe <laughs> is it expected this much? Well, we'll find out. 2.18 million litres of straw pellets. Let's hope we can take it all. So we'll get this sold. And then I am just going to go to town and just buy chickens. Now, I have got a JCB that's still on lease that I could do with paying off. But it's about 340,000. That's a massive chunk. So I think I'm going to just sort of let you go for chickens, chickens, chickens. Because we're going to get over a million here. Oh, look at that. Beautiful money this is. So I wonder what we've got in the second coop. Obviously, we've maxed out the first coop at 50,000. I think the second coop's had baby chicks. So I think there's 20,000 in there. So we need 30 more in there, which we should be able to do this time. Does this mean we might be able to move on to the third coop as well? Wow, okay. Well, I will see you back at the second coop to buy some chicks. So just a casual stroll there and to go and pick some chicks up. Let's go and have a look and see what we've got in here then. Oh, 12, 20,000. All right, well, let's just go buy another two. Yes, and another two, and another two. Can we get to 30,000? Yeah, we can. How many does that leave me with? Ooh. That's just took a nice chunk of money, that. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, work is doing well on that one. That's good. Let's just go back in and see. Uh, see, we could potentially leave it there, and then they will, we'll have babies. If we're going to have a look in here, it should tell me when the next... Uh, oh, I, forget. I can never fit through this door in one go. Ladies. So, offspring in two months. So two more months, so we'll get some more. So problem is I'm buying adults, which means we're going to get eggs straight off. If the if we have babies, it's going to take a few months before we'll actually start getting eggs. So is that a good idea or not? I mean, what have we got in here now? Let's see, look, zero months there. We've got how many of them? 10,000 at zero months. Well, as far as I know, yeah, it says there, they've got to get to six months before they can reproduce. So I don't think we're going to get any eggs until after six months. So their eight months were okay. They've just got to six months. But you can see, reproduction health, it's all really low because it's now got to start building, which is when we should start getting eggs. I do believe I'm not well up on me, chicks. So, so do, we just, do we get some more? Or do we leave it at 30,000 and go and pay off the lease on my JCB, which is, I think it was this one. Let's just see because if we're going to check on this one here oh it's a cell hmm okay so that means one of the ones i've been working in the field i was trying to leave the lease one like to do little where it's possible because it charges me every hour we go over the lease but it turns out that one says sell not return so that means that's one of mine so one of the ones i have been working throughout those, this field or it's currently doing the planting now is this the one this could be the one Oh, that says sell. So this one doing the planting. This one. <laughs> that's me rented one. We're up to one and a half hours. So I've been charged again because we've gone over the hour. Do we go and buy it outright or not? Or do we carry on with the chicks? Oh, it's a tough one. It's a tough one to know what to do. Because I really do want to get the chicks. Mm, okay, I think. Yeah, let, let's just go. Let's go for some more, shall we? Let's go and buy them. Buy them. 
Can we get? We should be able to get. Ah, are we going to be able to get? I'm not, I'm not going to have the money now. There's 40,000. I've got 117,000 left. It's 110. That will literally leave me with nothing. So we'll, um, we'll leave that for now. But yeah, that's it. Uh, I mean, we have actually got some eggs. What did I see? The What was the egg price? <laughs> 2.3 million if we sell them now. There's no way you're telling me that a fast food restaurant needs 601,000 litres of eggs. I'm sorry. I've got to go over to the warehouse here to just check how many pallets, like physical pallets is that. If I go and try and spawn them from here, it will tell me how many pallets that is. So, okay, the, there's a, we're a bit short here, 587 here. Obviously, the rest of them are in the in these sheds here. Yeah, look, there's 10,000 in there. So, yeah, they're in the sheds. Let's just see how much then, if we spawn these, 420 pallets. <laughs> 420 pallets. You're telling me a, a fast food restaurant needs 420 pallets of eggs. I don't think so, somehow. Does that mean that we're going to hit a limit at that sell point? That could be an issue, couldn't it? All right, well, I think we're going to leave this little update here then. We've got some more chickens. We've nearly filled the second coop. I'm going to plod on. I'm going to keep getting more barley, keep getting more straw pellets. We're going to dump them in the silo. And then when we get to probably November, we'll come back in the next episode when it's going to be the best price for eggs. And we are going to go to town and sell or try and sell all these eggs to the fast food restaurant. But by that point, we will have a hell of a lot more if you want to see what happens and do we just overwhelm the fast food restaurant with eggs hit subscribe hit like and join me for the next episode thank you so much for watching and i really do appreciate it see you in the next one